on a minute. I clicked this video because I saw Illegal Action 2. What is going on here? Shut up, Thomas. Hello, yes, I am Heli. Hi, welcome. Listen. I have made a few videos in the past mentioning wanting a specific pulse rifle back from the deepest depths of the bungo bottomless pit of sunsetting. Banju, can you please make these weapons re-rollable? Please, re-obtainable, re-rollable, you name it. And guess what? They brought it back and it's all thanks to me. Yep, me. That's right, they absolutely clicked on my video and saw that some moron from Britland wanted a faction pulse rifle back and decided, you know what? Yes, we shall make this happen. Let's forget about the fact it's been re-added for over a month now, and the fact that my video has literally nothing to do with it coming back. But hey, listen! We have this beautiful pulse rifle back and it is no longer sunset. I still haven't explained why the intro clip was with a messenger. Oh yeah. Well, it's a long story. It all began seven months ago, when I made a video talking about the third Axiom Pulse being better than the Messenger. People naturally weren't happy with me saying that, and that really hurt my feelings. So I thought about it and decided to make a video saying that the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle the Time One Spire is also better than the Messenger. <laughs> but what I didn't realise is I hadn't actually made a video about the Messenger yet, just using it at all. I could have sworn I did, but no, I, I haven't. And the comments wanting a video on one were adding up. And poor Rob here has been so supportive on my videos and even tweeted me a couple of times. But they needed a video on the Messenger. Sorry, Chad. So I thought, you know what? I'll use both pulse rifles in this one video. The messenger and the legal action. And you know what else I thought about? You guessed it! Ace Defender! That's why this video is sponsored by the lovely people who made Ace Defender. Ace Defender is an incredibly high quality SRPG. We're talking turn-based battles with tower defense mechanics. This game has everything you would want. From the storyline alone, there are over 40 chapters to thousand levels for you to complete solo. That's a lot of gameplay. To kick off the storyline, you are tasked with helping the Silver Dragon Princess Alapida to aid in restoring the balance of good and evil. You know, Titans versus Hunters, am I right? <laughs> anyway, yes, listen. There are five hero factions, Divine, Demon, Shadow, Nature, and Light, all of them having deep background stories in their own lore. Starting with 48 heroes, there are two new heroes added every two weeks. You can level them up, even combine them together and equip gear to create your most powerful lineup to fight with. On the PvE side of things, you're able to explore dungeons, get yourselves into battles, which, by the way, you are able to speed up your battles as well. Normal speed, times two, or even times four, so you can truly power through those battles, easy as that. And of course, level up your heroes and collect a plethora of rare items. If PvP is your thing, no worries. Fight against other players in your own server, or across other servers into King's Arena and battle other people's hero lineups with your own. And if you if you download the game right now using the link below, you guys will get yourselves 10 Royal Recruit tickets, which is essentially 10 free heroes for free. All you have to do is click the link, level up a few times, head to Sky City, go to the tavern, and there you go. Banging. So for both of these pulse rifles, I'm using the same loadout on my Warlock. Aphidian Aspect Gauntlets for the snappiness and ready and reload speed. Nova Bomb Devour for my subclass in an attempt to go on a few streaks. And my energy weapon is the beautifully reliable Punching Out Sidearm. Am I too stubborn to farm for a better roll? Yes. Yes, I am. Right, the legal action. Like I said before, this has been reissued for about a month or so now. And wow, did I miss this thing. I always use it every now and then in quick play and such, but obviously with it being sunset, couldn't really use it for anything more. And it still did a great job with the static role of Accurized and Rampage. Nowadays, the role I have with it being random rolled now is Hammerforge, Extended Mag, Surplus, and Rampage. Definitely not the best role I can imagine, but it's the best I've got so far. Some people may dislike that master work there. I don't care, it's handling at least. This pulse rifle is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? With the new monarchy representing and everything. The range, the high impact, the zoom. I think the ultimate role that I'm after is probably heating up and rampage genuinely sounds like it wouldn't budge at all stability wise and it would melt faces do you know how happy i would be if this dropped with kill clip it's the same case as the last video with counterbalance by the way so slap that on this pulse rifle makes the recoil direction straight and makes your shots feel even more precise and smooth tell me it isn't satisfying getting two to three kills in a row with this thing how hard it hits accompanied with the potential range of almost 50 meters am i running out of breath yes don't care. And I know one of you guys has this thing with heating up and rampage. And if you do, 
Tell me, tell me how good it is. I see you with that god roll, Ryan. You too, Jacob, leave a comment. Running about with the illegal action definitely feels a bit unforgiving at times, especially if you don't get the first shot or the first burst off in time. I'm absolutely not going to pretend this is some flawless weapon or anything of the sort. The placement and positioning required to use this pulse rifle is definitely on the stay on the floor side of things. Sit with your empowering rifts and get a quick pick off and kickstart rampage. Then you can run at them and push if the situation calls for it. Eat your devour grenade and attack. Take no prisoners. Don't let the Lorenz driver take hold of your life. Fight back against the stasis and the dodgy time lost fate ringer users. Witness the high 40 damage burst and take the life from your opponents. You're on a roll and you'll keep getting your health back each kill. Nothing <laughs> will st stop. Oh. Another drawback of this weapon, as you can imagine, is due to the current map rotation. Some maps this thing will just not work on. You might find a few magical lobbies of everything going your way, but this thing plus close quarters, you'll spend most of your time fighting away of your energy weapon and not really getting use out of a high impact, high range pulse. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Twilight Gap. Stupid shotgun map. Even with the most basic of setup, without the devour, without the need to care about proccing any sort of abilities or anything of the sort, the legal action 2 still does a great job. If you find yourself with a surplus and rampage roll or heating up plus rampage give it a go and get back to me i promise you it's good if you're looking for a pve roll i would highly recommend it surplus paired with frenzy that would be a hard hitter very consistently while also feeling smooth thanks to the surplus obviously rounding out all the negatives that high impact pulses have no need for any kills either just be in combat for 10 seconds or so and you'll have a sweet damage buff while obviously surplus is a constant ongoing perk did this guy just spend that long talking about pvp to then give pve one measly sentence yes i don't bloody have a pve roll yet okay i'm trying here this is where i put it pve god roll if I had one. i'll get back to you though a little extra bonus on the legal action compared to a similar pulse ruffle like the messenger is the extra zoom and almost 10 meters extra range before damage drop off yeah i'm talking smack about you messenger and moving on to this thing here is the best roll i've got extended mag Rapid it and Despacito. Now I'm about to drop a belter of an unpopular opinion here, but I've been after a Desperado roll for so long now, and now that I have one, and I've really given it a good and proper try for a few hundred kills, I've come to the conclusion that I really don't care for Desperado that much. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a bad perk and you can still have some very fun streaks like you saw at the start of the video. I think it's one of the best time to kills in the entire game when it's procced, but I just find it to be a bit of a nuisance to constantly run. This absolutely might just be me, but I find myself doing far better with a pulse with a simple kill clip roll. To keep my position and melt through people without the need to push every corner and fight for the perfect reload time to keep Desperado going, which I'm already dreadful at even with kill clip, I really do believe the best place for Desperado to shine is a place like comp or trials. That is where you'll get a headshot fairly easily and be rewarded with the easiest mop up of another kill or even two kills. With that being said, it certainly doesn't mean Desperado is a bad perk. My view on Desperado very well might change. Remember this is purely from experience of seemingly doing significantly better using any other pulse rifle. If I could get rapid hit and kill clip on a messenger, then I would absolutely main the hell out of this thing. So you know what, maybe if I do get a rapid hit kill clip roll of it, I'll give it another go and make it its own video. Do people ever use their messengers for PvE by the way? I could have sworn I remember in the days of the Redrix Claymore people said Desperado was legitimately a great option for PvE, but being an utter noob at the time who never got the Redrix until its broadsword counterpart came around, I never gave it a try. Let me know if you guys do or if that's even a thing. Well thank you guys very much for watching this uh, 
double video review. My overall view is I still very much prefer the legal action over the messenger and maybe I'm just a deluded YouTuber and I don't know what I'm on about. Let me know what you guys think if you've used both and listen, I totally get it if it sounds weird saying Desperado is meh because, you know, Desperado. Seriously though, thank you all so much for watching. You're all wonderful and I hope each and every one of you have a good day ahead. Until next time though guys, take care.